Greetings! Let's drink too many spirits while we talk about too many spirits. It's, it's too, too many, many spirits! spirits. This is a show where we drink our drinks and read your spooky stories. We're filming four episodes, all episodes being filmed tonight, so right now we seem normal. But later, when we arrive at our destination, we're gonna be different. As always, we'll be enjoying a tasty beverage prepared by our cocktail maestro, Stephen Lim, and our wonderful pal, the beautiful, the gorgeous, Ricky Wang, the talented, Ricky Wang. Wow. The theme of this season is travel. We're gonna be reading stories from all around the world. Every story is gonna come from a location. If one of us has been to that location, we get a nice stamp in our passport. At the end of the episode, whoever has the most stamps commands the other to take a shot. Okay, that's, that's how it works. Feel free to play along at home. Hello, welcome back. Oh. One fatal flaw I just realized what? of Stephen oh. Lim Airlines. This is not a real airline. Oh, I just realized that. Yeah, no plane. But this is an airline not for your body. No, no, no. For your tongue. <laughs> oh. This is the <laughs> world leading tongue airline. So you want me to say that I got tongued on Stephen Lim Airlines? I'm saying that you get on the tongue and you can Where are we flying to, to now? Which, where are we We going? are flying to Hawaii. Oh. oh my, no my, passport required. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. <laughs> my tongue got excited. It's like, ah. <laughs> it's oh, trying yes. to jump out of your mouth. Yes. <laughs> All right, and the drink we're making today is called the... Oh, we don't have a name again. Why do you, what do you mean you don't have a name again? I, How did this, you know? It fell through the corporate emails. It's guys. called... Tiki Tiki Dum Dum. <laughs> nah, that's pretty good. Oh, that's, that's good. Because they're too, they're too... Uh, it's a bit rude. This recipe was designed by Ricky, and I am his hands and feet on the ground of this airline. For your tongue. So your please, hands, hands and manifest feet. the drink through my hands. Do, do it like Ghost when they're at the pottery wheel. <laughs> oh my so god. So we're gonna fill the tiki glass up with ice first. This, this is so romantic. This, honestly, this is good. Wow, yeah. this is, this is <laughs> nice. Right, I, I got it, I got it. <laughs> oh, okay. No one's puppeteering You're the brains. And I'm the, I'm the. The brawn. Nah, 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 nah. Steve, I'm, I'm the tongue. Oh. oh. Uh, dope. Ooh. Saw it coming. This is the, this is the one ounce, right? So that one is and a half ounces. Deadpool oh. himself. One and a half. That that was one and a half. Okay. Oh, a little extra lot. Steven, you should do the remainder of this in your best Stitch impression. Which one is Stitch? The little blue, the little blue oh, guy. The little blue guy. <laughs> this guy. Hey. Oh, Hannah. That oh, guy. Oh, oh Hannah was fabulous. That guy? Am I doing it right? No. No, no I'm not. No, I'm not doing it right. Oh, Hannah was Am I Stitch? Make the fucking drink! Oh, yeah. That, that's actually... You did it uh, correctly? Wow. Yeah, correct measurement. No. Oh. <laughs> And we're doing it's half like ounce of the hibiscus Wow, liqueur. that was really good, Steven. <laughs> I does not mean, yes. Half an ounce? Is this season Probably half an ounce? six? What is this? Steven finally learned how to measure. That's that's impressive. Yeah. Steven is a trained bartender now. Nice. Well. Wow, what's over there? Do You son of a, oh God damn. <laughs> we're gonna add one ounce of pineapple juice. Just this little oh. bad boy over here. Oh. With Who my tongue? Dance? Not one. Oh, well, yeah. tongue, tongue at the same time as your body. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Okay. It's a good look. It's this, all in the hips. I have been told that people watch this show not for the banter, not for the comedy, not for the scary stories, but for the sex appeal. So I have a pressure to deliver, okay? When you heard that, was it from the reflection in the mirror or was that from another human person? Valid question. Comments. Okay, what's next? We're, we're gonna add a quarter of an ounce of simple. This guy? Oh, no, no, no. Of this guy? Yeah. Don't make it complicated, keep it simple. You know what? What are you He's doing? ready to be a bar. Don't drink simple syrup. <gasps> it's just sugar and sweet. water. Now we're ready for our bitters. We're gonna add a couple dashes. You know, people say bitters are the seasoning of cocktails. Didn't go in. Oh. Didn't go in again. Oh my again. gosh. Right. Oh, we're gonna sexy shake it. Oh, sexy shake. Sexy, sexy shake. shake. Sexy get the tongue going. Yeah, well, you gotta get the hula dance get with the, the hips. Tongue. Shake it with your hips. What the hell are you doing? 
Tongue? Tongue? <laughs> tongue? Oh god, he's like a scary lizard. My tongue is like a joystick for my arms. Oh god. <laughs> I hate that. We're three quarters and we're gonna top off with soda. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, the, yes. Okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 beautiful. With, with soda. I'm gonna top off with some Canada Dry. Pepsi? You got any Pepsi? <laughs> oh, <laughs> who shook you this idiot. before I touched it? <laughs> We're gonna top off this beautiful drink. Oh yeah, beautiful. Here. Don't. All right, ready? Oh god. Oh, Wait, what are you? We're gonna rely on his basketball Kobe. skills. That oh. was not even you were close to me. Garnish. Yeah. Wow, yeah. Here or inside? Yeah, no, no, on the, on, yeah. on, on the lid. Yeah, on, on the lid. If there's a cut in it, is yeah, there not? Yeah, yeah, there's, there's a... There's a... Yes. There. Oh! That wow. actually doesn't look half bad. In a drink, you want to protect the air from the water. Here, here, here. This is better, this is better. You know, you have creative... Oh! Okay. Okay, that's yeah, better. That's, that's, a little more, that's kind of avant-garde, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I like that. And there you have it. This is the jet engine, formerly known as the Tiki Tiki Dum Dum. But before we get to tasting that drink, a quick word from our sponsors. Hello. Do you know what this guy told me the other day? You see, I asked him what he does to protect his activity online. And he told me he uses his ghost hunting gear to detect malware. And you know how they're always talking about ghosts being able to manipulate electricity, like their flashlights and stuff? Look. It sounded like maybe he was onto something. I don't know, I trusted it. We're business partners, you know? Well, what do you know? Mistake. He was pranking me. Anyway, now I use NordVPN to protect all of my activity online. NordVPN creates an encrypted network that hides my dedicated IP address as well as my location. My online activity has never been safer or more secure. Plus, one NordVPN account protects up to six Devices, that's right. You're wondering why I have six devices in front of me? Because they are all protected by one account. And if you're not tech savvy like me, there's always 24 seven customer service support to help you whenever you need it. And this is real support, not like Ryan's support. NordVPN also has other amazing cybersecurity tools like their password manager, NordPass, and their encrypted cloud storage app, NordLocker. Remember, if you are not using a reliable VPN, your private information can be easily accessed by third parties. So, while I might be susceptible to attacks in real life, I'm always protected from cyber attacks on my devices. Don't leave yourself open to threats. Protect yourself today with NordVPN. Use the link below nordvpn.com slash watcher. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Again, head to that link below. And now, back to the show. Let's bring them out. Oh, uh, who, what gets, we got who gets what drink? Well, let's, let's, let's get in there first. Bring them out. Let's get all, let's out, get all the drinks in there. All right, so who wants my drink? Rock. Can we just flip flop? No. no. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, go. Yay! Fuck! Which one do you want? Uh, uh. I want Ricky's drink. Oh, uh, okay. Damn it. All right, here we go. Hey, there's a hair in my drink. That's the Stephen Lim difference. Steven always makes sure there's a bit of his DNA I in know, his he, drinks. He made a witch's <laughs> potion over here. <laughs> Way to go to have the drink with the coconut cream. Oh, oh God. God. I, I thought he was oh, in the bathroom Why so would you even suggest that? <laughs> this is a spirit can. This is to you, Steven. And All to right. you, Ricky. It's quite delicious. Quite balanced, quite delicious. Actually, not bad. Really? You see how you, you see how Ryan was trying to make a stink face. He was like, "Oh, this sucks," but you couldn't. You couldn't, couldn't go no, through with right. the bias. Really nice. He's right. Look at his stupid face. You actually <laughs> liked it. Look at his fucking stupid face. I've rated it. I've rated it. Ready? That's a ten. That's a. <laughs> That's two <laughs> ten. <laughs> That's a ten. Oh, well, all right, all right. All right. That's. Too many spirits! That's the first time we've ever done that in a drink. Now let's erase that to pretend like it never happened. But you actually made it well for once. Yeah. It's, Congrats, because, it's because you guys had managing me this season. Jesus Christ, man. Take a breath. Oh my god, shit. <laughs> oh, jeez. Big guy was thirsty. It must be a 10. Big guy, That's big, a 10. Big guy gets thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> big guy, big stuff. <laughs> Let's go to Facebook to Matt Clark, who could I, I could assume is 
in hospice. Um, <laughs> oh, brother. Where's dark? <laughs> he's on Facebook. I don't even go that He's dark. on Facebook. He's yes, gotta everybody be on Facebook is in hospice. He's got to be at least north of 80. Matt Clark comes from Austin, Texas. I've been to Austin, Texas. Ba -da -da -da. A few years ago, I went to a wedding in a historic old house in Austin, Texas. The bride and bridesmaids had been getting ready all day and were in an upstairs room. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I arrived a few hours before the wedding and was having a beer in the parking lot. We're classy. With the groom and some groomsmen, when I happened to look up at the top story of the house and see a lady standing in a beautiful white wedding gown staring out of one of the windows. Well, it's a wedding. Or is it a go? A lot of, a lot of, I'm getting a little tired of gals in white in, it's in so white dresses. It's so fucking boring. The, the lady can, in look. white ghost is so, like, get, wear a different color. Well, no, but we cracked it, I think. You and I cracked it. Well, first of all, let me preface this by saying ghosts are not real. But. Thank you for clarifying that. You did. Uh, people often see ghosts in dark rooms. Sure. A woman in a, sort of a black dress would just blend in. Fair, but Whereas you never... a woman in a white dress, like, say there's a woman in a black dress out there. Are we gonna I see her right see now? Her. I can't we even see her. We wouldn't see shit. No, we wouldn't. If there was a woman in a white dress, we would barely, we would barely, we would be like, what's that? That's true. That's a lady. I'd be like, woman. We'd be like, what are you hey, doing? Hey, lady. <laughs> I waved at her thinking that this was the bride. She didn't wave back. Rude much? <laughs> Did say rude much? Yeah. I like that. About an hour before the ceremony, I saw one of the brides in the house running about in a tizzy about how they needed to get all dressed if they wanted to be on time. I remarked, well, at least the bride is dressed and ready to go. The bridesmaid looked at me like I was crazy and said that nobody up there was dressed. What if the bridesmaid was like, the bride's been dead for 15 years? Yeah, they could say that. Well, no, what if she said that? <laughs> yeah, what if she said that? Okay, thank what you. What if she said that and okay. then she said, now you're I dead too, and then pulled sure out a little on one of those like, what if she said that? Little pistols. The bridesmaid looked at me like I was crazy and said that nobody up there was dressed and that the wedding gown was still on the hanger. I said, well, who's up there wearing a white wedding dress? Yeah. What'd she they said, say? okay. Nobody. It was just them. I had to go back out for another beer. Watch this. I'm gonna give that one. 10 out of 10 spirits. Well, I wish we could agree on this. Um, and my wish comes true because I also give that 10. That's a 10? It's my marker. That's a 10. That's a 10. And that's... that's too, too many, many spirits! Ah! Wow, that's two in a row, dude. What a banger of an ip. Yeah! Ah! yeah! Ah! 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 Oh. He has made fi- Oh shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is from Facebook. Nice. Amanda Leish Reddick. This story is from upstate New York. Oh, we've both been we've there. We've been there. Buffalo. That's right. Buffalo, 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 buffalo. Oh, that's satisfying, dude. I'm like that old that guy nice? in Last Crusade. My sister and I went <laughs> to an alleged ghoul-infested house for a girl's night out. That's fun. I noticed that's a big thing with like bachelorette parties and uh, birthday parties. Well, now when we You never were... hear about a group of guys for a bachelor party or like a birthday party going to a ghoul-infested house. Well, do you remember when we were at the I the Island of the Dolls? I do remember the Island there of the Dolls. There was a bachelorette party yeah, there. Do you, do you remember when we went to the Island of the do you Dolls? Remember that? Yeah, that, that rings a bell, man. Do you remember that? Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it shakes a tambourine for me. The one the time yeah, the we went to the island, we went to the, the island, one time we went to the Island of the fucking and Dolls. Got yeah. Held up, yeah. And you licked a Mickey Mouse that was like I didn't lick a Mickey. You might as well have. When we got back into my minivan to make the hour-long trip home, yeah. I turned on the radio. Do you get nervous on long drives with people you don't know well? I remember one time I was on a very long drive. My freshman year of college, I was in a long distance relationship with uh, my girlfriend. She was at a different college. I went on a very long road trip down to that college with her roommate's boyfriend. 
Oh no, so it was like a play date. And I was like, I don't know what to put on for the drive. And I was like, I bet he likes- You thought about it that micro? I was like, I guess he like, he probably likes like stand up comedy. Oh my fucking God, <laughs> dude. <laughs> put it on for like the entire- Would you put on like a date Four cook? to five hour drive, I don't know what it was, but it was really long. And I was like, do you want to play music or anything? He was like, no, this is good, man. When we got back into the main van to make the hour long trip home, I turned on the radio and I shit you not, every damn channel was static. So I did the only logical thing I could think of. I told her to get the hell out of my minivan and shake off. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, you weren't, that's the end of the sentence? No, this, that's the end of that sentence, yes. No, I know, but like she said, get out of the minivan and shake off and shake off. Like Taylor Swift or like shake. That's a good s single, honestly. As I lean more toward being a Shaniac, hell yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> and she's full on Bugara. Hell yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> now that's good, that's, <laughs> that's good, that's good. symmetry. There was no way I was the one that inf infested the radio with ghoul goo. So she got out, shook off for probably a full two minutes, got back in and the radio was fine after that. Okay. She's lucky it worked because I would have left her in the parking lot. Don't be bringing that shit all up in my minivan. That's right. Don't be bringing that shit up all in her That's minivan. That's the story. What would you do if we were listening to the radio and we started hearing static <sighs> and then Ooh. goo started coming out of the fucking radio? Oh God, if goo came out of like the radio, goo. I'd shit. Would you actually be like goo would be coming out of me? Would you be like go <laughs> surreal? Um, maybe, yeah, if goo came out of the radio, yeah, I bet you you would make up an excuse. I, I really believe that. Well, I'd be that. like, let's I, take it to Jiffy Lube first and see what they gotta say there. And if we took it to Jiffy Lube and they said, this is ectoplasm. They'd be like, I ain't like no lube I've ever seen. Yeah. It's a trend this e episode. That's a solid 10 for me. Oh my God, I have that's a 10 a as well. That's a 10, wait. That's, that's a 10. 10. And that's, that's too, too many spirits. Strong. The, thing, the reason why I gave Strong. it a 10 is one, I like minivans. I think. Minivans are good. That also went into my decision. That's, and I and I like the radio. Radio's also good. Radio. <laughs> I love when people are doing fun, spooky things as a as a leisure activity. I like that too. And I like the Bugara Shaniac representation. In I there. do. You've got both ends of the spectrum, and it's very funny to imagine someone stepping out of a vehicle and shaking off a ghost for two full minutes. I thought you were gonna run out of breath, and you didn't. That's no, impressive. No, I've got big lungs. You do have big lungs. I've always said that. Log Bros. <laughs> That's Log Bros. This is a really it's lazy log bros. log bros, dude. <laughs> I didn't even stand up for this one. It's log bro, it's not log bro. That's good. Yeah, the phone's on the log, dude. Yeah. They got some bushies. <laughs> you got some bushies. <laughs> I love my pushies. I you do know? know you love your pushies. <laughs> this comes from Instagram, Catculate. Okay. And this is in Cape Cod. Have not been. Have not been either. Have not been. Where's Cape Cod? Rhode Island? Is no, it Rhode a, Island? It's Florida, dude. No, it's not. Isn't it? No. no? Massachusetts? Okay. It's in Massachusetts? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> you should get a negative stamp for saying that. Can he? I, I think you should. Hey, that was, man, that's not a rule. <laughs> the most California thing you could have said. Hey, dude, <laughs> we got the best beaches. No. There's no point no. to study the globe. I gotta be honest. I don't think you do. <laughs> Me and my dad <laughs> and my brother all took a trip to Cape Cod to spread my grandparents' ashes. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> I picked the worst story to start with a funny yeah, voice. Yeah, you did a real, you had a real good time at the top of that. I, I swear this isn't a sad meme, Mima story. They spelled it Mima? They spelled it meme and then ma story. Anyway, Maybe sad Mima, like grandpa? Yeah, yeah, like a Mima. Like a grandma? Yeah, like Meemaw? a grandma, but it was. Papa it, and Mima? It, it, interesting spelling. Papa and Mima? Yeah, I swear this isn't a sad Mima story. Okay. <laughs> While we were there one night, my dad picked up a case of beer called Bad Martha because that was Graham's name. I guess the bottle caps had little messages in them because my dad got super excited about one and tossed it to me to read. So it's like a message from the great beyond. Mima like, is communicating. It's like an adult Snapple. What? The fucking caps have messages on them. Oh, because it's beer. It's beer. So it's not I, like Snapple that when you open it, it's, it's not like, like white peach or some of, shit like right. that. Well, if you made an adult Snapple, like a, a beer, well, what facts would you put on there? It would be like nipples. 
That's it? <laughs> No, it would say nipples. He's fucking pissed in my with his nipples. <laughs> nipples. Dot dot dot. Question mark. <laughs> That's better, I guess. Nipples. <laughs> you know, and you'd be like, "What is this bottle going through?" I guess the bottle caps had little messages in them because my dad got super excited about one and tossed it to me to read. It landed on the table with a few others, and when I picked it up, it read. Oh, I'm very excited. What do you think it's gonna read? Do you think it's from Mima? I love read. you, my granddaughter. Granddaughter. It's gonna say, "You were always a disappointment to me." Oh. It read, "A night with Martha is a night well spent." It's. Pr I mean, the beer is called Bad Martha. I know. Th and yeah. the name of the grandma's Martha, Martha. But you could, I guess, read into that being like, "That's Martha hey. speaking to us," <laughs> not just a beer company saying, "Hey, you drink our beer, you're gonna have a good night." But yeah, but at the same time, it's like the dad being like, "Hey, hey." Check this one out. And then you read it and it's like, it was nice to fuck your grandmother. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? She produced a noise I'd never heard before. <laughs> like a snake coated in oatmeal. <laughs> okay. Confused as fuck, I looked up at my dad who was beaming with joy. Did you read it? He said. Uh, yeah, dad, um, what? I said as I handed him back the cap. Equally confused, he straightened his glasses to read the cap, and that boy became sheer embarrassment as he said, no, 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 this isn't it. It said, Martha's always watching. So we looked for the cap with that supposed quote, but could never find it. That was my grandma pulling one last funny on us. Oh. Or it's just the dad making that up. No, it sounded like the dad was embarrassed because the dad, okay, now I don't feel as bad for being pervy about it because it sounds like the dad was equally like, oh, no, 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 I, I didn't mean it like that, you know? I see, I see you what know? you're saying now. That's what yes. No, I see what you're saying, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What are we gonna rate this? Be careful, Ryan. Think about the story. I rated it. Okay. That's a six. Six! That's a 10 from me. What? I loved it. Here's the thing. You're just handing them out. Now, no, no, no. They're losing no. their meaning. Shut up. You shut up. Don't, don't, don't you, don't you, don't you ever, don't, you don't, don't you fucking, ever accuse me. Don't fucking take the goddamn exercise here. I realized during that story that I was really invested in it. Yeah. I, I liked the location, uh, Cape Cod, that's lovely. I was invested in this family who was there and remembering their grandmother. Famous. And Florida then there was this funny misunderstanding. It was a nice story. It was really good. It was really good. Let's toss it into the fire. That was a good toss. Will it catch? It will catch. Here it yes. goes. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Here it goes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, we need a little bit. For our final story, we will have a special delicious story delivered by our pals. We'll do yes? it together. Why do you guys oh, look together. So cool? We'll do it together. Okay. <laughs> Make sure you taste it for the poison first so that, that when they taste it, they don't die. Thank you. Don't, why did you lick it? So that uh, when you touch it, you won't die. Okay. <laughs> We want to protect you guys. I cool. appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, it's That's very, very, very sweet of you. Sweet of you. Oh. Oh. oh, no! Oh, oh, no. no he's he's a fake guy. He's not dead. He's not dead. Uh, this is from Brianna's Fluff on Instagram, and it's from Seattle, Washington. Oh, I've been there. Me too. We got back home from a trip to Hawaii to find a small, dirty footprint in the bathtub. Okay. That's it. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. That'd be good, though. We figured it must have been from the person who checked on our house for us, but their feet were too big. Wait. <laughs> how do they what? know immediately how, how the, the, the footprint wouldn't match? What? They said the feet were too big. Like, how did they know so quickly? I feel like if I saw a footprint in my house, I wouldn't immediately Well, they said to small, out. dirty footprints in the bathtub. Small, small. Mm, small. I guess maybe it could be like a child small. A child small. We called them the next day, and they said they never set foot in the tub. What if a baby got into some ketchup, though? 
That's a good question. What if, can babies eat ketchup? Why wouldn't there be footprints leading up? Can you feed babies ketchup? To the bathtub, though. Why wouldn't, why, why how, would, how long do you have to wait to feed your baby ketchup? Probably like six months. No, all of our parents have decided to no longer do these shoots. It wasn't till later that week we solved the mystery of the bloody footprints. What was it? This story's got you hooked, doesn't it? What was it? it? Tell me! It wasn't ghosts, dot, dot, dot. Baby with ketchup? Okay, I could do without that. <laughs> it was from the tanning spray I forgot I put on before we left on vacation. Tanning <laughs> spray! <laughs> oh man, that's some red tanning spray. <laughs> I've never uh, used tanning spray, so I don't know how that uh, yeah, works. we could tell. <laughs> you nasty. Okay, Ryan, what you got? Seven, siete. That's ten. What? Okay, you're just <laughs> handing them out now, no, man. No, I like you're, it. You're making the currents. I liked it. No, I liked it because it didn't end on a note of mystery. It ended on, we thought it was ghosts, but uh, just kidding. It was this. I you're, love that. It was like an Agatha Christie novel, all condensed. You're devaluing the currency of the spirit doll. I don't give a shit. It's worth the little or and. Lore. I don't give a. F you're Fuck fucking it, dude. About any, you're just handing them no, out. You, what 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 uh, value do you think this currency has? It had a lot before this. No. It I, had look, a lot. if I'm feeling tens, I I know it in my bones. That's a ten in my bones and in, in all of my bones. Well, your bones stink. I've got great bones. Your bones this. suck, bones. Uh, I gotta take a shot. Where's that shot? You want me to taste this for you so you don't die from poison first? No, I, I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I get for not being well traveled. I've never gone to Austin. Well, thank you for watching this episode of Too Many Spirits. Make sure you tune in next time where we're going to be even more smart. Smart, smart. We'll be strong. Strong next and smart. Week. Uh, and um, hope to be playing along at home. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You guys are going to be competing. Who do you think is going to win? Well, obviously... Ricky's gonna win. Oh. No, I'm yeah. actually very excited. That's the confidence we know as well. <laughs> <laughs>